records to film now. It's Military Appreciation and Mental Health Awareness Month, and Memorial Day is Monday, May 29th. All of these themes coming together for the 2023 GI Film Festival starting today. Veterans Nico and Nick Betts are here to tell us about the fest. And Nick, uh, you're uh, also a filmmaker, and you've got a film in this. So, But Nico, I want to start with you. Talk about sure. the GI Film Festival, um, and it starts here today, right? It does. It runs 15 through 20 May. Uh, tonight is opening night. It's sold out. So there are 31 films, but only 28 left to see. Gotcha. So still <laughs> plenty of opportunities to check out some of there these are, films. There are. There are. And I would I would get on your and get tickets today at gifilmfestivalsd.org. Okay. Awesome. Um, they're only ten dollars and eight dollars for veterans wow. and also active duty. That's a great deal. A great opportunity for to get out there and see some pretty cool films. I would imagine all different types of genres or what, what are we looking yeah, at? Yeah, you know, lineup? really every every film is by for about the military, not necessarily a military subject. And I'll tell you the overall theme this year really is resilience. You yeah. see a lot of films that have submitted about overcoming certain challenges in life, traumas sure. in life and, and excelling. Okay, that's pretty inspirational, yeah. right? Nick, tell us about your film. Uh, I made a film called Let's Talk About the War. Uh, essentially, it is documenting all 20 years and, and what that combat looked like, uh, all of our failures, all of our successes, uh, and then the overwhelming feeling of what happened after the withdrawal of Kabul. Uh, tell us about your military background. Thank you for both, your, both of you for your service, uh, but tell us about your experience in the military. Yeah, I spent eight years in the Army as a sniper, uh, ended up getting out, then I went contracting for the government. Uh, after I got done doing that, then I went to LA Film, got my degree, and uh, decided to tell stories. Wow, um, a sniper! I mean, that's a pretty serious, <laughs> yeah, pretty serious job. Um, did the film help you with um, your experience? Share that, share that with other people, or it actually put me in a pretty bad rut. You know, interviewing triple amputees, interviewing uh, my best friend's dead or my best friend's widows. Uh, it, yeah, I, I had to go to the VA and, and get a lot of help kind of post sure. doing that because I was living through nine months of, uh, you know, 20 years of combat was, it was really tough for me. But that also led to this being super authentic. Right? Yeah, the comments that we got have been just overwhelming success. Uh, guys feeling validated, their feelings are validated, sure. uh, showing it to their families, their spouses finally understand, you know, kind of what they went through. Wow. So really getting that message out there, Nico, I mean this is what this is all about it really i mean it i saw the film yeah um it's very visceral response you know i yeah. mean it really brings out a lot of emotion in you and that's what really the the gi film festival is all about make you think hear these stories about our veterans and it makes you think and see a perspective and realize that they're part of our community right. you know this film um talk, let's talk about the war it it is it's rough it's raw and I'll tell you what, there are a lot of, uh, there's a lot of positive that comes out of that from the stories of those veterans in sure. there, some of those stories of resilience. So I'd really encourage everybody to see it. It's going to, it's going to be on Wednesday. Yeah. Okay. So your yes. film is going to be on Wednesday. I wanted that's to ask right. you. Yeah. That. Okay. So that's yeah. it. And, that'll, and then there's a couple different each day, right? That you get that's to right. So we have 17 shorts, which are under an hour. Okay. A lot of them are in film blocks. And then we have some of them that are longer, an hour or more. And there's generally two two showings of those longer films a night, so two separate films a night. Okay. Nick, there might be a filmmaker or veteran out there right now. Um, what what would you encourage them to do if they're interested in this? You know, I think it's such a good pedestal to be able to tell these stories, to be able to articulate your feelings, um, and in such a good medium. And I think that you know, getting into the arts and and having this level of uh, you know cathartic means of of helping yourself out, yeah. um, you know, there was a lot of success after, you know, after I kind of went through my, my mental rut right. after this documentary. So, you know, I really encourage guys to, you know, start writing, start doing photography um, and, and get into the arts. Yeah, that sense of accomplishment and pride and everyone enjoying your work has yeah. got to feel pretty good, right? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, as a first time filmmaker and seeing people cry with, you know, something that I created, you, you kind of know you did the right thing. That's the payoff yep. after uh, going through those months. Of Right. Tough storytelling there. Yeah. yeah. All right, Nick, thanks for coming in. Appreciate it. Nico, remind everyone where they can go for more information. I think we have a full screen right here. We get the film festival starting today until the 20th. That's right. right. At 15 through 20, uh, get your tickets today at GIFilmFestivalSD.org. Just $10 to see some great films, really uh, perspective changing films, and life changing for a lot of our yeah. veterans. And the proceeds going to the festival and everything that GI Film Festival That's right. stands for. Yes. Okay. Awesome. Well, thanks, gentlemen, for coming in here. Again, thank you so much for your service, and uh, look forward to a great next couple of days and great films. Yeah, thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks for coming in. Appreciate it.